In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software free worksheet under the Infinite Geometry tab. This worksheet is line segments and measure, and it's dealing with centimeters. So we're going to use a ruler to measure the length of each line segment, and we're going to measure each segment in centimeters, and we're rounding our answer to the nearest millimeter. So if you're confused on how to use a ruler, please go to my tutorial section, and I go over how to use a ruler dealing with inches and dealing with centimeters. The nice thing about centimeters is that it's broken up only into millimeters, so each millimeter is a tenth of a centimeter. So we're going to line our ruler up on the edge of the line. We're past three centimeters, so we know this is going to be three point something. And here's one millimeter, two millimeters, past three centimeters. So this is three point two centimeters. And number two, again, we're going past three centimeters, and this is five tenths, or five millimeters, past three. So this is 3.5 centimeters. And number three, lining our ruler up with the edge of the line, you can see that we fall just short of four centimeters, and that's 3.5 nine centimeters. Since we were a tenth of a centimeter or one millimeter short of four. In number four, lining up our ruler with the edge, we go past four centimeters by two millimeters. So this is 4.2 centimeters. Number five, we are exactly halfway between four and five, so this is 4.5 centimeters. And number six, we go past four. Here's 4.5, so 4.6, 4.7, 4.8. So we are at approximately 4.8 centimeters. In number seven, we're at five centimeters, and then we go two millimeters past, so that's 5.2 centimeters. In number eight, we're halfway between five and six centimeters, so that's going to be 5.5 centimeters. I'm going to have to zoom out so that we can fit numbers 9 through 14 within the frame. For number 9, lining our ruler up with the edge, you can see that we go all the way over past 13. Here's 13 and a half, so we have 13.6, 13.7. So number 9 is 13.7 centimeters. And number 10, lining our ruler up with the edge, we get to 14 centimeters exactly. So number 10 is 14 centimeters. Number 11, we go past 14 by approximately four, so 11 will be 14.4 centimeters. Since we went past that 14 by four millimeters, and a millimeter is a tenth of a centimeter. In number 12, I'm lining my ruler up, counting up centimeters first, so I get to 14 centimeters, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 millimeters past 14, and since a millimeter is a tenth of a centimeter, I have 14.7 centimeters. Moving on to number 13. Setting the edge of the line up with the edge of my ruler, you can see that I hit 15 centimeters exactly. So this is 15 centimeters. And finally, lastly in this video, I'll do number 14. Lining my ruler up, I'm past 15 centimeters and I'm past it by one, two, three millimeters. So this will be 15 point three 
centimeters. And here's something to think about. If there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, if we were to write 15.3 centimeters as millimeters, we would get 153 millimeters. So our measurement for this was 153 millimeters, and if you divide that by 10, you'll get 15.3 centimeters.